Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are finally getting back from our trip uh, over in the new area. I've got an inventory full of crap, and we also have a couple of hunters, one or two hunters anyway, stuck underneath our deck. Uh, but I don't want to deal with them yet because I don't have any room for the stuff. So hopefully they'll stay stuck long enough for me to empty a little bit of space out so we can go take them out. Uh, I am not seeing any completely destroyed walls, panels, whatever on the base, which is a very good thing, but I'm sure, um, you know, we're going to have some damage to deal with. Um, so let's just go in here for the moment. Anything that needs to be free refrigerated, that needs to be refrigerated. Oh, we got to get our chicken. I did come back with one live chicken. Uh, so let's get that in here. All right, and then... We're going to, let's turn that light on. How are we doing on power? Yeah, we need to get you going again. So let's just put a little bit of that in there for the moment. And then I'm just going to make a little room. I'm not worried about where stuff is going at the moment here. Let's butcher you. And that should be enough room to go deal with these guys. So let's do that now. Um, turn the lights on so we can see. Okay, so we've got, look at that, we've got three of them stuck under the porch. That is amazing. Alright, you know what? This isn't actually working so well. Let's just kill those guys. This guy's trying to get away. That ain't gonna happen. Yeah, sometimes they get unstuck when you uh, when you hit them like that. But we are going to pursue this guy, and he's not getting away from us. Even if we have to go all the way back across the lake, which we might have to do. All right. Where is he? He's right there. Okay. We're coming for you, buddy. We're coming for you, Charlie. He's a Charlie because he's heading towards Charlie Base. Uh, okay. Not sure exactly where he is because he stays submerged. Let's go down again. Okay, he's over there. Pull my weapon back out and turn the light back on every time I, I submerge. You're not getting away from us, pal. Where is he? Where's that coming from? All right. I can't. Uh, Here. Right here. Okay. Switch to this. Okay. All right. Um, let's just run back along the shore and we'll loot those other guys. With all three of them there, I probably should have just shotgun blasted all of them, but it's always nice to kill them with the axe because then you can save ammo and stuff, you know. So let's get on back over there, get those guys looted. Uh, it's going to get light here fairly soon. Oh, another opportunity for a chicken here. Let's switch back to our cheap arrows. Uh, no, cheap arrows. Yeah. Nope, he's dead. Okay, so we'll still have to get two more chickens at some point. But that's easy and easy enough to do. So anyway, the plan for today's episode is we are going to work on the base. So we should, uh, well, whether or not we have 300 nails, we're going to do it anyways. 
We are going to have to expend some of those nails to repair whatever damage was done whilst we were gone. Uh, but the good news is, again, we don't have any completely, as far as I could tell, I didn't look real closely. It doesn't look like we have completely destroyed pieces. And, you know, having three of those guys get stuck underneath uh, was great because it just means we didn't get that that much damage uh, from those three. Once they get stuck, they just stop doing any damage. Okay, so let's get these. Okay, we got a little bit of gunpowder and casings and some blueberries and stuff there. Okay, cool. Is that it now? Anybody stuck over here? Oh, we have one more. Look at this. Okay. can't quite get to him all right you know what I don't want to chase him again so let's just do that excellent okay uh, let me look over here real quick and see if there are any crates that have spawned on our island before we yep we got one right here With more nails in it, always welcome. And looks like we have a zinc deposit up here. I might as well grab that. Then we're going to go back. We're going to see uh, what we got. What we brought home in terms of resources and stuff like that. Get that all situated and then we're going to start building. Grab you. And grab you. You know what I don't actually have a ton of is planks, though. That that might actually be our stop. Well, it usually is our stopping point. But we'll we'll do as much as we can with the planks that we have, and then I'll, I'll probably have to pause, go cut some more wood, and then uh, continue on after that. All right, so let's see here. We can turn off these lights. And we have a surprising, surprisingly sound base. I mean, I'm not, even, I'm not even seeing any visible damage at all. That doesn't mean it's not there, of course, but... Wow, that was fortunate, man, for all of those hunters to get caught like that. It almost looks like they did almost no damage. I mean, could we actually be that lucky? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure there's got to be a little bit of damage, but. Grab you. Okay. Let's grab you out of there. And so we, we're bringing back 63 iron, which is really, really good. And now we have a total of 88 to smelt because of our, our drill there. Uh, we should be able to turn that off now, save power. Okay, so let's get, I want to get the iron and the potassium. We must have put that in here. We, we got 15 potassium uh, going in this guy. Uh, okay, so let's see, we want to butcher you. Uh, we got to get our fires going again. So I got matches in there and matches in there. That's good. So let's get a couple Prestos here. Presto logs. And we'll, we're going to burn that meat. Okay. We have 64 fat. That is going to give us a nice little supply of biofuel. In fact, we have so much fat, we can't even put it all in there. Nice problem to have, man. Nice problem to have. Let's just stick this in here for now so I know to put it in there later. Uh, okay, so let's grab all the rest of this back out of here because it doesn't belong in here. Um, seeds can go in here. So that's this, this, and this. Uh, blueberries, let's get those in here. That goes in there, that goes in there, da, 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 that goes in there too, okay. This, 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 and nope. Uh, oh, 
really? We have like, we have 300 nails. No, we have 343 nails. Okay, I was gonna say we have 300 nails even. Not quite. That all goes in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, it's probably time for us to make some more stuff. Maybe we'll make some nades, and after we do this building session, we'll we'll go attack Charlie. So let's grab a stack of gunpowder. And let's see, what else are we going to need? We're going to need iron fragments and into something else. Uh, and copper fragments. Okay. So let's just grab all of those out of there. And let's make... Uh, let's make f four... We'll have four grenades in total. This can go in here. Or, nope. Actually, no. I don't want to put that in there without our... Unless... Until we get our free mass. Uh, so we'll put that in there. That can go in there. That can go in there. These guys can go back in here. Gotta love this inventory management. Do I have room for this gunpowder in here? Um... These guys, yeah, those guys could be stacked. I'm not sure why they weren't. There we go. Uh, magnum rounds can go in there. Gears can go in there. These can all go in here, as well as this. And we are good to go on our inventory management. Uh, we need to do some repairing, too. So, and we, do we need to eat? Yes, we need to eat. So how about if we have some steak and eggs and some tomato soup? And can we have one of these? Nope, not quite. That's all right. That is a-okay. Um, I'm just going to drink from the canteens to get our hydration back. Thought I saw something under there. Let's close that door. You guys are done burning. So we were going to put you over here for the... Oh, there's no room in here. Well, that doesn't go in there, though, actually. This goes in here. Okay, we are situated. Let's get uh, some let's get some repairs done first before we do anything else. Uh, so we're going to need scrap, sinew, and adhesive to get the bow repaired. Okay. Uh, the pistol is going to need some boards. Shotgun's going to need some cordage. The rifle is going to need, uh, it's got everything we need. We can't repair that stuff. Uh, you need cotton and iron fragments. We're just going to get everything repaired here. You need cloth. You need that. You need that. And you need that. Okay, we are fully repaired, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good thing. It's a good feeling. Put you back down there. Put you back down in here. You can go there. Yeah, we only have 58 planks. So what I'm going to do is let's split this wood in half. Well, you know what? We we really need to do our base repairs, actually, before we do any anything else. Yeah, so let's get the base repairs done first. Hopefully, I mean, you know, from what it's looking like, it'll be minimal. And uh, that way we'll have more resources for our building upgrades. Okay, let's start checking this. That looks okay. That looks okay. That looks okay. That needs a tap. That needs two taps. That needs two taps. Two taps here. One tap there. That looks good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so all these upper panels are in pretty good shape. Let's go down here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We just ran out of power, which means our fridge just went off. Turn that back on. Pronto. Um, yeah, we need to... We need to get the Jennies going. All right, how are we doing? Yeah, 158 minus 111 course. We got to turn all this stuff back on now. As well as these guys. Uh, extract. Okay, so they're back on. I'm sure. I'm sure it's time to harvest our crops too. Lots of stuff to do, man. 
All right, now we got 158 in, 1 1.3 out. And you're on, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're still just a tiny bit in the plus. That might get a little bit better as the day progresses because of the, um, uh, whatchamacallits? Solar panels, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's get those back in there. All right, let's get back to our repairing. So, uh, let's check these, excuse me, upper walls. I just saw something somewhere. Yeah, you need a tap. Anything over in this area? Looks like this is all pretty sound over here. That's not damaged enough to worry about. That needs a tap. Oh, yeah, that needs a couple of taps. That's going to need some attention down below. You need a few taps. One tap for you. Uh, we didn't really need to tap that one, but whatever. Okay, any damage over... Oh, yep, we got to head over here. Let's grab this. And looks like... Yep, that got hit. Everything over here is pretty good. They, they rarely go over there. Almost never. This needs some attention. 738. 44, 28. 50, and I think we already checked all these. Okay, let's go back along this way now. 1486, yeah, we'll tap it. What the hell? We didn't need to do the 1493. It was good enough. 1475, yeah, we'll hit that. That needs some attention. So, yeah, we did get hit, which doesn't surprise me. What would have surprised me if is if we had not, but usually they, you know, they hit us um, a couple of times before they completely close. All right, now let's check these guys up here, and I want to check my lights, too. Okay, you're looking good. You're looking good. Ooh, you took some hits. Wow. They must really focus on those lights, I guess. I don't know. Either that or I forgot to repair it the last time and that was just leftover damage. Maybe that's what's going on with that. This is all good. Oh, that needs a little of attention there. And then the last thing to check is this platform here. One bang there. One bang there. One bang here. Yeah, this one has some visible damage. As does this one. Just wasn't seen it. When it was darker out. They do like to hit these. Okay. And then finally, just down here. You need one tap. You need one tap. You need a tap. I guess we'll hit you too. All right. I think that's it. So not bad, really, all things considered. You know, we were gone for two full days and got all three hunter, uh, hunters attacking us while we were gone. But again, fortunately, four of them got stuck and, yeah, it sucks to be them. So that leaves us with, how many nails does that leave us with? 281 nails. So nails actually isn't the problem. Boards are the problem. So here's what I'm going to do. Let's split this into half and split it in half again. And we'll hang on to 30. I'm going to turn the rest of those into planks. Um, and then let's just see how much we can get done just with these planks. And obviously, I'm going to have to go do some more uh, lumberjacking. But I don't, you know, I want to at least get started on our, on our build here. Just just get started on it because, you know, we've been, I've been waiting to do this for quite some time. Okay, so let's see here. How are we doing on power? We are 169 in, 13 out. Let's go ahead and turn this on. I do need to get this upgraded um, so it doesn't use as much power. I don't know. I'm not super worried about it, though, because I only run it just for a little while during the day. Um, so it's uh, it's something I'll eventually do, but I'm not super worried about it, like I said. Okay, so uh, what kind of building pieces do we currently have? We have one wall and one foundation that we must have looted off of a hunter. Um, so let's go up here and start taking a look at the situation. So, 
what I want to do is I want to build up. And I think... Hmm, I gotta think about this for a second. I think what we'll do... What if we were to extend the roof out? So we have a covered porch here. All the way around the base. Oops, we're stuck there. That is not what I meant to do. But fortunately we landed in the water and didn't break our leg. I don't know. It, if, if we do that, it's going to be a the eaves, I think, are going to look proportion out of proportion. They're going to be too large. They're going to stick out too far. We don't have the ability to make any kind of a pull, do we? No, not really. Okay. I was just thinking, you know, for... Like have an over, uh, like a porch overhang or an awning with some poles to support it, just because it would look cool. Um. All right. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I really don't. What I'm actually thinking we could do. Think, 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 think. I think we need to extend out over this area, this porch area. Yeah, okay, so let's, um, we're gonna want two of the, oh, we're gonna, we need cordage, right? Yeah, let's get some cordage. Cordage, cordage, cordage. Give us some cordage. All right, so we're going to want two of these. Um, oh, actually, hold on. Maybe not. Maybe what we'll do instead of that. Yeah, yeah, I think that is what I want to do. Okay, so... Let's make a couple of these, and then we're going to need one, two, three normal ceiling pieces. And we're basically going to extend this upper floor out so that it's the same shape as the porch below. But this is still going to be a porch. I'm not planning on extending the inside uh, interior out further this way. Oh, we're like mega thirsty here. Just because it's hot. I mean, I wonder... When we're at the base, the only... The only, um consequence of getting too hot is you you get thirsty quicker but I mean when, when we're at the base it's easy to re-drink so I question whether or not we actually need this at all okay so we're still waiting for those boards all right I'll tell you what while we're waiting for the rest of the boards to finish let's get our crops harvested um all right so now for that We could leave the potatoes and the carrots alone because we have a full stack of each. Unless, again, we want to start thinking about making molotovs uh, with that excess. What's it take to make the distillery? Or distiller? It's not 
super expensive, really. Um, we don't have enough mass and um, power at the moment uh, to do it. Uh, we definitely want tomatoes and onions harvested for sure. So let's let's grab those. I might, yeah, I might leave the carrots and the potatoes alone for now. Because if we leave them in here, then, you know, they don't spoil. I'll have to think about the whole Molotov situation. Oh, we do have one cotton plant over there, too. Let's grab that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go... Put you in there and you in there. So that gets us up to 89 onions. And uh, we're going to make, you know, we're going to keep making tomato soup, of course, with these extra tomatoes. So we could harvest the potatoes. And we have room for them for now. And and wait till the mass and power builds up. Then build the distiller. And then we can start working on Molotovs. I, I think that makes sense to do that. I think that makes sense to do that. Um, again, Molotovs are super expensive, but when you start getting to the point where you have, you know, surplus, you might as well use it for that, right? So that's what we're going to do. I am going to leave the carrots alone, though. We're just going to let those stay there. Um, but we will replant the potatoes. And I have a cotton seed and the tomatoes, of course, too. Okay, so we have four tomato seeds. We have four cotton seeds. We'll grab those and those. It's only the uh, carrots that we're not going to redo. So for onions, we need five more seeds. There we go. So we got a total of eight. We're going to do four potatoes uh, and four cottons. And then we're going to do four tomatoes. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go back this way. Cotton, potatoes, onions, and maters. There we go. All right. Now let's grab all of this and get everybody topped off. We didn't actually, I know we didn't actually need to put stuff in there, but I did anyway, so there you go. Uh, I'm going to give you some of that. I'm going to give you the rest, and you the rest. Okay, so you have 100% water, you have 100% water, you have 100% water, yeah, I know you don't need it, but I'm giving it to you anyways. And there we go. Okay. Do we have a moose in the yard? We do. All right, if he's going to just do special delivery. Come on, put your head back up. All right, he's going to go across the water probably. Oh, is he? What's he going to do? He might come back up on the island. No, he's... Well, what's he doing? Oh, he is coming back. Uh, no, he isn't. I don't know what the hell he's doing. <laughs> he's going in circles. Let's see what he does. Yeah, I think he's heading for the far shore there. Okay. Well, what we need to do is try and damage him enough to come back after us. Now he's angry. And he's submerged, too.
That one missed. So level three. And one shotgun blast will take him out. I was waiting for him to jump up, but he never did, so. Nice. Level three moose just walked right into our lap here. Well, not exactly, but close enough, right? Give us those good giblets. All right. Uh-oh. Uh what did we just drop? Sinew and fat. Oh, uh, shit. Okay, here. Let's make one of these. Yes, I know I'm going to... Okay, I want the sinew. The fat is not that important. Here, let's actually get the fat, too. Why not? If I can find it. Yeah, right here. Okay. Because that fat equates to biofuel, and we like biofuel. Okay, let's head on back, get this stuff in the fridge. We gotta get the canteens filled back up and then put away, and then we'll proceed. Okay, so we have 21 uh, additional potatoes besides the full stack there. Uh, we got three roasts waiting to be cooked up at some point. Let's, um, grab fat out of here. We'll split you. And we'll also grab out of here and put you in there. Very, very good. Okay. And I'm actually going to drink a couple of you. You do not go in there. Uh, you go in here. Both of you go in there. And let's take this fat here and top that off. Okay. Two canteens to fill up and then we can get back to business here. I know that sidetracked us a bit, but hey, when a moose walks into your yard... You gotta take advantage. Take advantage of the situation. Oh uh, man, we uh We're like really low on wood. I'm gonna I'm just gonna presto log these guys. I mean presto logs are easy enough to make. Uh okay. Now, back to this. What we wanna do is grab one of these and we wanna turn it this way. And get it to snap in there. And do the same thing over here. Like so. And then we put these guys here. Uh, looks like they are the right direction. Yes. That goes there. That goes there. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now, we're going to follow the same roof pattern all the way around that we've we've been doing. All right, so that means we want to make two curved roofs. roofs and we're going to want to make a bunch of these. Three, four, five, five-ish. I'm going to have to change stuff over here, too. Okay, so let's grab this and pop it right there. Okay, and this one can go here. That's right, I forgot. That's kind of jank there, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, Alright, and then these guys, we're going to flip around and put here. Oh, 
I might end up taking these, you know, this ceiling piece here isn't really serving any purpose. But I'm not 100% sure I'm going to stick with this configuration, though. So I'm just going to leave them in place for now. And we'll see uh, we'll see how things come, continue to come together here. All right, how many more we got? Two more. All right, I think we're going to do something different here. Let's get this flipped around. Come on. Okay, here. Don't be such a pain in the ass. There you go. Now, let's make another one of these. Flip this around. Put you there. Okay. Now, let's take this piece here and pop it in there. What I want to do here is I want to take you back up. Um, put you there. And then put this one out here, like so. And that fixes this little jank situation. Okay. Now, the next thing, let's do, oh, we need, we need one more friggin' board. Okay, damn it. I have got to go lumberjacking. Absolutely got to go lumberjacking. Um... So, yeah, let's make one more board here just to do this last piece. And then I'll, I'll kind of talk to you guys about what's what's next, what I'm thinking. Oops. Let's turn this light on so we can all see. Did we? Oh, yeah, we still have to make this. This other roof piece here. Okay, so we're going to put this other roof piece in here. And I'm going to probably take all of this out and put a hatch in here. It's just going to make sense to do that. I think. Or am I? Okay, well, here, let's put this here. Like so. Yeah, th this whole thing might completely come out of here, and we might make a different way to get up here instead. And what I might even do is I might take all of these ceiling pieces out of here. Let's get some light going. I'm going to have to make another battery all of these ceiling pieces out of here and move them up to here and then we'd have like a really high you know cathedral-ish type of roof on the inside which i think would look really neat um and then i'll have to figure out you know this access to get up here afterwards okay so let's go let's just hop down here so that looks kind of neat, you know, having that overhang, but we might not, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep that there. Uh, but this is what it looks like in front. So what I was, you know, when I was talking earlier about the poles, I think it would look cool to have poles like on these corners just to kind of, you know, look like it's supporting the roof it would just add some more flavor to the to the build one thing we could do oh there goes our flashlight uh i don't have a glow stick do i no okay well 
One thing we could do, though, is we could put a couple of curved window walls in here. Or we just leave it leave it the way it is. I don't know. I mean, it looks kind of cool. Sorry. Sorry about the light, guys. It looks kind of cool, though, the way it is. But anyway, um, we're going to build up this higher and have, you know, have an upper floor. And I don't know how high I'm going to go with that. Uh, we might just go up one, you know, one more story, so to speak. But then I'm going to have a tower that's going to go way high, and the tower is going to Probably, I don't know if the whole tower will be made out of glass or if we'll just make the top part out of glass and put some lights up there so it's kind of like almost a lighthouse idea. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of what's in my mind. Now, as far as our defenses go, uh, I am eventually planning on making this entire wall all the way around a double high wall. And I've already talked about this before, but in case you didn't catch my reasoning for that is because, well, there's two reasons. One for aesthetics, so everything's nice and s symmetrical on both sides. But also, we are eventually going to take Charlie's base out completely, and when Charlie respawns, they could respond over here and start attacking from this side. Uh, so, so we're going to keep working on the defenses um, and basically make this side look like that, that side as far as the walls and the, you know, the little uh, rampart or whatever, you know, that we have uh, to get around on that side. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much it, you guys, for the build so far. We have we're still doing decent on nails, but it's wood that we ran out of on this uh, this time around. So I will go back to the usual. Um, probably take a few off camera days and gather up more nails. Get a whole crap ton of wood because we need it. And um, we made those. Here, let's turn that off. Do we make we make grenades, right? Oh, we made one grenade. Okay. We'll probably go raid Charlie again here pretty soon. Maybe even in the next episode. We'll see. Um, and just, you know, continue on from there. So that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.